is a thing about comics. Everybody sort of thinks that, oh, comics, I can do comics. That's, that, that'd be fun. It's, it's comics, right? Comics are words and pictures. You can yeah. do anything with words and pictures. Harvey Pekar. Harvey Pekar. The thing is that once they actually start doing it, they realize, oh, there's kind of a lot of work in this. Oh, yeah. That, and, they learned that. <laughs> and there's a, there's a lot of things that, that's going on here that I never thought about before. After taking the class and after learning just how much thought, how much detail goes into making each panel, how positioning, framing, blocking your characters um, in different places around the page can actually influence or change your perception and experience of the comic, um, definitely made me appreciate comics a lot more in general. Part of the, the idea early on was to really inculcate in their minds that it's about thinking in terms of the linguistic elements of comics. Yeah. Think in terms of page layout, think in terms of panels, of bubbles, of spacing, yeah. of size, all of that stuff. People say, oh, I can't draw, so therefore I can't make comics. And we wanted to come at it from a completely different point of view and say, no, that the, what we're here to teach you is the language. My artistic skills were almost non-existent. I, um, I actually was okay when I was little. I still remember my third grade teacher kept a drawing that I made of a hammerhead shark. I was very proud of that. But really, I hadn't drawn since elementary school. There weren't too many people. Um, they, they were loaded, they were riddled with <laughs> anxiety in the first weeks and quickly got over it um, by seeing that there were a number of other people in the class that didn't have you know, leaps and bounds, better drawing skill. Then we also had a few people in the class that had quite a bit of drawing skill and were kind of showing off in that first week too. Um, because it's how I'm gonna know, how JC's gonna know, and how the rest of the class is gonna know where you stand. Yeah. So there's nothing really wrong with that from our perspective. I met with Professor Barry and he encouraged me to, you know, just stop being afraid. And that's what he told me. So, you know, just start drawing. Don't be afraid of what your drawings look like. My two professors are amazing. They're very inspiring. They're always uh, willing to help you. I think that's probably the thing that I will remember most about them. The first half of the semester, um, JC was kind of the one that was speaking to us a lot of the time because he knows a lot about theory and so he told us all about that, how it was going to work, things that we should apply in our own work. And then once we started doing our own comic books, Rob started to take over a little bit more so he could help us with the actual like execution portion with the drawing and all of that. Uh, they were both very approachable and very knowledgeable. They just had a lot of experience. They knew the way things were gonna work. And so I think they wanted us to make our own mistakes to some degree, but where they saw something happening that they, they knew needed to be fixed, they would rush in there and kind of push you right back onto the path. Just from the very beginning, we made them post their work in a way on the Canvas site that was available for everyone to see. Mm -hmm. Everyone got comments on their work and we then met in class and talked about it in terms of uh, just all the different kinds of elements of what we were looking for for the homework. Yeah. And everybody had their own kind of vision and I think everyone's touch was there. We had to take our favorite poem or poems that they had shown us and create a comic book out of it. I did William Blake's London. I, uh, what I loved about that, and I think what a lot of other people liked about that, is everyone has a very particular interpretation of the poem, so you're kind of, it gives you the opportunity to really kind of push an interpretation onto it so people can really see the way that you're thinking or like see a different way of looking at the poem. One student, Cutler, did You Can Call Me Al by Paul Simon, right? Which That's has that fun. great line, yeah. you know, I want to be the one up a cartoon in a cartoon graveyard. And there he do does, and he draws the cartoon in a cartoon graveyard, so he's already that which he never yeah. wanted to become. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, it's yeah. poetry, right? Like, describing it, as JC just did, might make it sound trite. Oh, he did a cartoon in a cartoon graveyard. But this is what's, what works about poetry that also works about comics. It sounds trite to describe it, but when you see it, and it works. Oh, yeah. So structurally, the plan worked like this. We had 16 students. And... Um, we kept telling them all semester there's going to be a collaborative final project. We're going to get to decide what you're going to do, but you have to work with other people. Uh, and we felt that there would be more that you learn through the collaborative process. I'm big on this myself. This is the notion that uh, comics can be a really unique collaborative field in the same way acting can. Uh, and you get a lot from working with other people and what they add into it. 
Um, so we made sure it was going to be collaborative. They would have the final seven weeks to do it. Um, and that we weren't going to set any conditions on who they had to work with, um, who had to do what within it, um, or what the story or anything would be. Ultimately, I think that each of the students in the class came out of it feeling like they did make a work of art. Oh yeah, I that's, think so. that's a good thing. Like they went, <laughs> went in going, I'm not artistic, and, and came out feeling as if they made a work of art. Comics, like I said, are, you know, are form of storytelling, and I think that there are just some stories that are better captured within the medium comics than what you can get in books, than what you can get in film. And I think, especially um, some of the works that I've been reading outside of class, it's taught me you know, it's taught me valuable lessons about, you know, human nature. I think we're, we've accepted that comics are a fuller, richer language of art than, um, than they were popularly considered to be, you know, uh, during even their heyday in America in the 50s and 60s. Um, but uh, they're, you know, they're a big deal now, and they collect the stories of generations and generations of, of artists and people. Why wouldn't we study that? Why wouldn't we teach that? So that's a close. That is a close. <laughs>